in a manner of speaking. You know, we're very proud of the Carter Dime. You should be. It's beautiful. Tell me. What do you see? Nothing like that. Locked in fire. Brilliance. Eternity. Maybe even love. Very romantic. Do you know what I see? Money. Well, what do you think of Ms. Green's security system? Yes, tell us. You're the expert. Why don't you give us an opinion? Well, I'll try. Carter Diamond, I run a truck driving straight through those glass doors. Yes, but every alarm in the store would go off then, wouldn't it? Well, so what? I'd be long gone. Just put in some sealed doors, Philippe. You gotta make thieves work a little, Miss Green. Well, I think I'll take the rest of the day off. See you guys tomorrow. Steel doors, huh? Aha! <laughs> oh, he's like a kid in a candy store, isn't he? Purchase send you? No, no, I smell the jail rot. You put me away once, won't happen again. Oh, I own bums like you, Dunn. And the next time I put you away, it'll be forever. Think about that, forever. Hey, don't walk away from me. I'm not done with you yet. Hey, come here. It wasn't a good day, Cliff. Yeah? That's too bad, Ricky. They got heat detectors, motion detectors, closed circuit TV. The ultrasonic sensitive microphone's a nice touch. What is it, Ricky? I mean, do I smell a chicken or what? Outlaws hanging around the store. Good. That's good. I mean, I want to get another shot at that pig. I mean, I want to hit him the same way he hit me until he's got no kidneys left. Forget it, Cliff. He's just not worth it. That's not the Rick I know. Hey, you know what I hated most about prison? Lunch. You get 20 minutes to eat, whatever you didn't finish was dinner. Well, you know what I hate the most? I hate the fact that I'm gonna die poor. Yes, well, you did very well with those steel doors, Mr. Dunn. That's not exactly what we want from you. The question is, could a smart thief get around our system? Could you? I don't know that I could directly. What does that mean? Well, it means I do one of two things. Either I'd involve someone here, make an inside job of oh, it, or... Forget that. What else? Well, I try a confidence scheme on you. <laughs> Car range for Breuer? Yes. Breuer? Yes, Alex Breuer. But junior or senior? Senior, of course. Well, you certainly got the best. But I thought he was in retirement. Well, he cabled us and told me he was willing to come out of retirement for the Carter. <laughs> lucky. Real lucky. Was about to go where they take lost children. <laughs> oh nope, no, please! The tools of my trade I always carry myself. Oh. <laughs> no, it's all right. I'm not so old. <laughs> we 
polis. I have never before held in my hand such a an elephant of a diamond. I am in awe. I have cut thousands of diamonds in my life. And? Not one was as magnificent as this. But what do we have when we cut it? Magnificent cut diamonds. Oh, you want to... An immediate assessment, is that it? Mr. Brewer, we've had several other good cutters in here, very, very good people, who told me that it would yield a primary stone upwards of 500 carats, D or E, near flawless. An idiot looks at the Carter diamond for two minutes and says, I can give you a 500 carat flawless diamond. <laughs> Do you want an idiot? No, sir. No, you don't. Believe me, I am interrupting my retirement and leaving my beloved Antwerp to make the Carter Diamond yield to me its soul. And when I do that, I will cut a diamond more beautiful than words and priceless beyond even your dreams. Hmm? Here you go. Thanks very much. Thanks. Bye-bye.